this summer homelessness was a focus for Sioux Falls leaders and Mayor Paul Tenhaken specifically called out the issues and what he described as quote bad actors just a couple months ago. Well since then some have stepped up to address those concerns with help. Cooper Seamer in studio with our 530 top story tonight. Hello Cooper. Yeah, Brian and Sam, some of Sioux Falls nonprofits are coming together on World Homeless Day, which is today, and are looking to connect people with the tools and connections they need to start a career and for others to get to know them. You said you wanted to slick back, so I wasn't too sure how you wanted to. Carl Allen jumps at any chance he can to help others. So when some Sioux Falls nonprofits got together and created their community solutions event, he knew he could help with free and reduced cost haircuts and help land them a job. Especially first impression. We know first impressions are everything. So when we can help somebody with just that little bit of an effort, goes a long way in potential job situation, you know. The event at Union Gospel Mission brings together resources for those in need of a job, whether they're in shelters or homeless. Folks could come in to get a haircut and get lessons on how to maintain a more professional look. Then they were able to connect with people from MB and Union Gospel Mission. They get some newer and more professional clothing all at no or reduced cost. Finally, they got a crash course on getting and maintaining a career. We don't want to just place people in jobs. We want to make sure that they're prepared for the jobs. Event coordinator Julian Bodewan says it's important they connect those in need with businesses and make sure they have the tools to keep a career and help solve two major problems in the city. The first step is to have uh, some type of career oriented type class to where we're teaching folks the manner of professionalism, we're teaching folks uh, the importance of work ethic, the importance of showing up on time. Tony Tate lives in the Glory House now, but is on the list to get an apartment and maintains a job. He says that first impression of looking and acting professional goes a long way. People like people with good hygiene and, and it's always good to be presentable with interviews and places you go. Bodawan says this was brought together after comments from city leaders about Sioux Falls homeless population and the actions they take. He says instead of responding negatively, they're trying to make a positive difference. Let's just build community because the more you know a, a human being or more you know a person, person's human side, I should say, uh, the better off you're gonna be when, when it comes to either hiring them, working with them, Bodawan says they had a great turnout from everyone involved, from participants, businesses, and more. He says this is something they hope they can do again and continue to find a solution for those in need looking for jobs. Brian and Sam. Cooper, senior for us this evening. Cooper, thank you.